How can I combine like terms and solve equations with variables on both sides? So what we're looking at in this lesson is going to be combining like terms. And what that means is that if I have two terms with the same variable or a lack of variable, two constant terms that are the same, um, these two terms have a variable, they're variable terms, and it's x. So I can combine them by adding four not because it's addition i can do four ninths plus one fourth in order to do that i need a common denominator in this case my common denominator i would just go ahead and go to 36. so nine times four is 36. four times four is 16. Um, four times nine is 36 and one times nine is nine 16 plus 9 equals 25 over 36. So 25 over 36x equals 87. This is kind of my separate work off to the side here. So that's how I could combine those like terms. Now I could continue to solve for x by using inverse operations. So if I'm multiplying by 25 over 36, I could actually, since it's a fraction, I would just multiply both sides by 36 over 25. Over here, that would end up equaling 1, so you end up with just x, and then 87 times 36 over 25. Uh, you could figure this out. I'm not going to stress too much about it. You want a calculator, so you would do 87 times 36 and then divide that by 25. Whenever you get that's what x equals. But that's how you combine these like terms. And I'm giving you hard ones in these examples. When we get to the actual work, it's going to be a little bit simpler. This one here now has two decimals um, that it wants us to combine. Again, we have both of these are x terms. Now these ones are dealing with negatives. So I have negative 3.8 minus 5.9, which you could consider plus negative. So I'm adding these two negatives, which means I'm basically just going to do 3.8 plus 5.9, and it will be a negative number. 8 plus 9 is 17. 1 plus 3 is 4 plus 5 is 9. Bring my decimal down. So it's going to be negative 9.7x equals 223.1. I can use inverse operations to solve for x by dividing both sides by negative 9.7. And that's going to mean that x is going to equal negative 223.1 divided by 9.7. Again, you could use a calculator to actually figure out a uh, the value of this simplified. I'm not going to worry about that for the sake of this video. We'll solve for x right now. So let's have a story. Dominique charges a $7 flat rate plus $2 per hour for tutoring. So we're going to write an equation for Dominique. Jasmine charges a $3 flat rate plus $4 per hour. So we would write equations for both Dominique and Jasmine. Those equations are going to be where x is going to equal the number of hours. So 4 times x plus the $3 flat rate is going to be jasmine. And then $2 per hour, so 2 times x plus the $7 flat rate would be Dominique. For what number of hours will their tutoring fees be the same? To set this up, I write those two equations. Dominique is 2x plus 7 and jasmine is 4x plus 3, where x in both situations represents the number of hours. I then set those equations equal to each other. This comes down here. And this goes over here, and now we have 2x plus 7 equals 4x plus 3. I use inverse operations to isolate my variable to one side so it looks like those first couple problems we had. In order to do that, what I find is I say, okay, this x has a larger coefficient. I'd like to keep it positive. This x has a smaller. So I subtract 2x from both sides. I subtract 2x here and 2x here. If I do that, I maintain equality. So since I'm using the inverse operation and the equality property of subtraction, if I subtract the same things from both sides of this equation, it stays equal. 2x minus 2x is going to be 0, so it's just 7. So I'm left with 7 over here. 4x minus 2x equals 2x. 4 minus 2 is 2. So I have 2x and the 3 stays. So 2x plus 3. Now I want to get rid of the 3, so I'm going to do 2x plus 3 minus 3. To maintain equality, I have to do that over here. So 7 minus 3 equals 2x plus 3 minus 3. Plus 3 minus 3 is going to cancel out to be 0. I'm left with 2x equals 4. 
Now I can use the inverse operation of uh, multiplying, so I can divide. I divide both sides by 2. 2x divided by 2 is going to equal 1x. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So I get down to 1x. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. So I know that x equals 2. The fee will be the same at 2 hours. You could figure out what that fee is by simply plugging that into one or both equations. So x equals 2, so 2 times 2 is 4, plus 7 equals 11. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 equals 11. So they both would equal $11 after 2 hours. Here's another example I'm going to work through live here. Um, so we have these two equations that equal to each other. And so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to take the x. I always like to work with the x with the larger coefficient. So negative 2 and 1. So I'm going to take negative 2 away from both sides. So negative 2x plus 5 minus negative 2x equals x minus 4 minus negative 2x. This basically becomes plus, so I'm adding 2x, which means this becomes 0, and then just the 5 is left. x plus, whenever I subtract a negative, I just add it. x plus 2x is 3x minus 4. Now I want to get rid of the 4 over here to leave x by itself. So I'm going to do 5 minus 4 equals 3x, no, 5 plus 4, sorry, I messed that up. 3x minus 4 plus 4. The reason I add 4 is because I was subtracting originally over here. So since I was originally subtracting, the inverse is addition. Um, I, I did subtraction by mistake there. But anyways, 5 plus 4 is 9. Minus 4 plus 4 is 0. So 9 equals 3x. And this, this works out really nice. Like These are easy ones to do because my inverse operation for multiplication is division. So I divide 3x by 3, and I have to do the same thing to both sides of the equation. 3x divided by 3 is x. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And x ends up equaling 3. So now I've shown you how I can combine like terms and solve equations with variables on both sides.